birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Lynn. Happy birthday to me. The best birthday ever! me again so today is sunday and i was at church and some people couldn't like i left my i remember the gifts i left in the car right here for my amazing wisdom woman of god and then there's another gift inside oh 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 forgot something quickly oh let me get them i got these flowers for my friends look at how cute they are they are so cute i thought they were fake but <laughs> like <laughs> They're so cute. I thought they were fake, and then I literally pulled the rose, and I was like, "Oh, because it doesn't feel like. Look at them. They don't look. You know, they don't look like the, the thing, but like they're real. And like I know they came in a plastic. The plastic is in there. But I have to cut them and trim them properly. Put them in nice vinegar water so that they last long. But anyway." My beautiful flowers. They're so cute. I love them. I'm giving thumbnail energy right now. Thumbnail energy. But anyway, so the flowers, one of my gifts. Um, and then. <gasps> oh my word! This is so cute. She got me Lego flowers. <laughs> she got me Lego flowers. <laughs> she got me Lego sunflowers. Tamlin, you were so adorable. I love them. I love that I'm gonna make this tomorrow. Oh! <laughs> Just for you that don't follow me, I love Legos. I've loved Legos since I was a kid. I play with Legos every now and again. I have Legos for fun. I read books. I paint. Basically, I do a lot of hobbies now that I think about it. But anyway, Legos. And then for the big guilty. Oh my word, this is. I'm so excited. I don't like it. Okay. It seems like a scripture bag. <laughs> I feel like it's a scripture bag. I see the Christian art gifts as a scripture bag. <gasps> Be still and know that I am God. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, it's such a wedding season. Oh my word. Look at that. I wonder if my laptop can fit. Now, now I'm going to do my a trial, a trial run. But if I close my laptop, you guys, it has a nice little clip on it. Okay, let's see. I think I should have one of my books close by to see. Because if, if this book fits, my laptop can fit. There's a book right here. Just Okay, but it's a bit smaller. Let's see. Fingers crossed it fits because I don't have a laptop bag. This would be so fantastic. Oh my word, I love it. I think my laptop can fit. It should fit. But I love it. It's so oh so cute. Now now I wish I was going to campus tomorrow because the Lord loves me so much. Me, I'm God's favorite child. I am the Lord's favorite child, guys. I'm telling you. We're supposed to have class yesterday. I mean <laughs> supposed to have class on my birthday, but then it's elections tomorrow. So uh like campus elections. So we all going to vote. There's more shuttles, so I can't go to BMC. So I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna have class online, and then I'm gonna go out, you know, for like some solo reflective date. Yeah, I'm gonna take my journal and my book, and I'm just gonna go read and eat. Ah, I'm so excited! Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Thank you, God. Anyway, I'll see you guys a bit later. Well, you can jump onto the actual vlog video, like my birthday weekend vlog. That will probably have most content because, yeah, I'm going to shoot a lot of the stuff there. Um, but overall, today was incredible, beautiful. The sermon, so in season. Like, yeah, the sermon was so in season. It's like God is saying, it's time, you know, like, it's time to elevate go out there let's do this love and i'm like I'm, I'm here for it god let's do this and i'm so excited for what god is about to do um 
in my life and the lives of the people around me. It's been such an honor to walk the journey with so many people and just being able to, you know, do life with people is so great. And I'm so grateful for a church family. I'm away from home and wow, this, this bag is so pretty. <laughs> I'm still stuck up on this beautiful bag. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for watching this video. I think there's still more gifts that are not yet here <laughs> that I'm only going to probably get on Friday. If, I, if if this video is not posted yet, I'll probably add those videos too. But then, yeah, it's going to be a little tricky because there's so much editing to do um, from both my birthdays. Um, I mean, for both vlogs because I have I have like my full birthday weekend vlog and then like, get ready with me and then a gift and unboxing one yeah now i feel like i'm just rambling but anyway thanks for watching i'm gonna quickly get to working before i eat and wait for my 12 o'clock time to eat people there and pray <laughs> you'll see what i do on my birthday vlog thanks for watching bye bye so ever since my 18th birthday, I've made it a tradition of mine to enter into my birthday year with prayer and just thanksgiving to God and just recommitting my life to God. Just telling God like here I am, use me, I'm still available for whatever you want to do. I'm still ready to be a vessel for you to run where I have no idea where I'm going. and. It is always such an intimate time because God just speaks so much into my coming year and he just gives me everything and I'm just as you can see like I'm very grateful because there's so much that God has done leading up to this point I know the battles that he took me through and every single battle that I won was because he was with me and just having that moment to really just honor him like I turn off my phone like I know everybody else is trying to call me but I turn off my phone I put it on airplane mode this is a time for me and God and just having that time in the morning really you know gives me so much tranquility and so much peace and knowing very well that God's still going to carry me into another season into another year is one of the most greatest and comforting experiences and I think that there's a culture that everyone can start it's very easy to do you just start doing it you really just start committing yourself like every midnight like I wait like on my on my birthday and wait for the midnight if I don't wait I sleep and then I wake up at midnight to say happy birthday and really to recommit myself to God um, and give him the new year that I'm stepping into yeah that's all so I did wake up the next morning very excited and I was playing like worship music in the background and I was screaming like it's my birthday but the problem is I'm playing worship music and like YouTube these days is quite strict so it does copyright even like the slightest of like small clips right but besides the point I woke up the next day and the first thing I had to do was clean up my room as you can see I still had the birthday signs up from last night because I yeah there was just a lot going on in this room anyway so I needed to clear it up and pack up some stuff so while we edit I know that I'm only editing this video in November um, I've been super busy I you do not understand like final year was a lot I'm literally gonna make a video just to talk about final year it was a lot but it was an incredible experience and I'm so grateful to God that I'm you know done and just looking at these gifts and realizing how many of them I've already used so far is so amazing like I just love it and so what I did do this day is that I did clear up first and just removed like all the gifts from the bed I don't even know why they were on the bed or who put them on the bed you know when you edit videos and you're like why did I do that that's me right now like I'm looking at myself and I'm like what's going on and I really really want to put in more effort into my editing like probably like do more stuff for my editing because you know there's still a lot more that I capable of and you guys know me very well that I am big on my morning devotionals so I then went I forgot even the book I was studying then but I'm always studying a book in the Bible so 
I'm currently studying James, uh, but then I forgot which book I was studying really. Uh, it's been a very long time, but I take my time, I read through the book, I highlight some stuff. I have done an in-depth study on this channel of one of the books, so you can check that out to see how I study. I think I do explain as I go through the process. But yeah, this was just me studying my Bible, drinking my coffee in the morning, you know, studying the studying 21 well, you know. morning so if you don't know me i really love the book of psalm and proverbs so i'm going to read out loud over my life over this season psalms 21 and proverbs 21 okay so let me read psalms 21 the king rejoices in your strength lord how great is his joy in the victories you give you have granted him his heart's desires and have not withheld the request of his lips. You came to greet him with rich blessings and placed the crown of pure gold on his head. He asked you for life and you gave it to him, length of days forever and ever. Though the victories you gave, his glory is great. You have bestowed on him splendor and majesty. Surely you have granted him unending blessings and made him glad with the joy of your presence. Sorry, you know, leave me because I'm replacing myself. Um, for the king trusts in the Lord through the unfailing love of the Most High. He will not be shaken. Your hand will lay hold on all your enemies. Your right hand will seize your foes. When you appear for battle, you will burn them up as in a blazing furnace. The Lord will swallow them in his wrath. His fire will consume them. You will destroy their descendants from the earth, their prosperity from mankind. Though they plot evil against you and devise wicked schemes, they cannot succeed. You will make them turn their backs when you aim at them with draw bow. Be exalted in your strength, Lord. We will sing and praise your might. God is just good, guys. God is just good. I mean, let me see Proverbs 21. I wonder if it's a good proverb. Because all these proverbs be mean. But like, Proverbs is a book of wisdom. It always has a lot of things to say. <laughs> it's one of those in your face kind of books. Uh, yo, wow, wow. I obviously have studied these books so like they have highlights with Apple Pro. So every time I open them, it's just in my face. Anyway, Proverbs 21. Ooh. Probably need to fix that. Proverbs 21. In the Lord's hand, the king's heart is a stream of water that he channels towards all who please him. A person may think their own ways are right, but the Lord weighs the heart. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the, the unplowed field of the wicked produce sin. The plans of the diligent lead to profit, as surely as haste leads to poverty. Look at my father already giving me advice. <laughs> okay, there's a full on thingy. A fortune made by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor and a deadly sneer. The violence of the wicked will drag them away, for they refuse to do what is right. The way of the guilty is devious, but the conduct of the innocent is upright. Better to live, a, to live on a corner of the roof than share a house with the quarrelsome wife. The wicked crave evil, their neighbors get no mercy from them. When a mocker is punished, the simple gain wisdom by paying attention to the wise they get knowledge the righteous one takes note of the house of the wicked and brings the wicked to ruin whoever shuts their ears to the cry of the poor will also cry out and not be answered a gift a gift given in secret soothes anger and a bribe concealed in the crock pacifies great wrath when justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to evildoers. Whoever st strays from the path of prudence comes to rest in the company of the dead. <coughs> Sorry, Proverbs is just funny to me sometimes. 
Whoever loves pleasure will become poor. Whoever loves wine and olive oil will never be rich. The wicked became, oh, the wicked become a ransom for the righteous and the unfaithful for the upright. Better to live in a desert than with a quarrelsome and nagging wife. The wife, oh, the wise store up choice food and olive oil, but fools gobble their theirs down. Whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. One who is wise can go up against the city of the might and pull down the stronghold in which they trust. Those who guard their mouth and their tongues keep themselves from calamity. The proud and the arrogant person, mocker is his name, behaves with insolent fury. The cravings of a sluggard of, yeah, of a sluggard will be the death of him because his hands refuse to work. All day long he craves for more, but the righteous give without sparing. The sacrifice of the wicked is detestable. How much more so when brought with evil intent? A false witness will perish, but a careful listener will testify successfully. The wicked put up a bold front, but the upright give thought to their ways. There is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against the Lord. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with the Lord. Oh, these are such amazing scriptures. I love you, Jesus. Anyway, I'm 21 now. Welcome to adulthood, Lynn. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Telling myself that I need my coffee. But anyway, I'm up and ready to go. So I have research class. But before research, I need to actually type up something, then I have research class, and then I have a meeting with my research team. And then after that, I'm going to go to Tiger Valley and uh, just journal and enjoy some Cape Town freebies that you get on your birthday. Um, yeah, because they know where I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to Waterfront, that's far. So I'm going to just go to Tiger Valley. <laughs> Water front is far, even though I want to be on that wheel. They haven't sent me my email for my birthday. I'm sad, but we will see if they send me that email. If they don't, evil people, tricks, it's all lies. <laughs> I'll catch you up. I'll catch up with you guys a bit later. Right now, I really need to get to work. I've uh, prayed a bit, read my Bible. So, yeah, you know, I prayed a lot. I prayed yesterday when I broke into the year. And then, obviously, this is my new year. Everybody has a different new year. Your birthday is your new year, basically. And the other thing that I found weird about birthdays, right, is that you actually celebrate the passing of the year. So it's like, I've I've already spent 21 years on Earth. It's not that the 21 years start today. I've already spent the year to my 21st. Does that does does that that make sense? Because, like this year so tomorrow i'm gonna be 21 and one day old which means i'm working towards 22. i don't know if it's just me but like i just find it awkward because we don't celebrate our zero birthday because our parents are crying in the hospital but it's vibes god is awesome <laughs> i'll see y'all later these videos are so long i was gonna edit this <laughs> So as you can see, I was already complaining about the editing the day of my birthday because I knew it was going to be a lot. But besides the point, I decided now to make a con um, I don't know what it's called, like this mixture that I found on the internet, like to make your flowers last long, which they did. They lasted about, I think, two weeks, which was like very good. Um, and I did add more flowers later that I'm going to buy for myself. I'm going to, okay, I'm already ruining the video for you. Such a spoiler. Is the creator but anyway um, as you can see like just cutting them like on this like what is it? they said 45 degrees like but I know you cut them at an angle then I was trying to find a way to make them all fit in this cute little tiny glass that I have like I have a lot of those glasses because I drink this coffee that is just that comes from a very specialized cup and I can't afford it now I want to cry but that's besides the point um, yeah this is just me setting that up and preparing my cute room anyway so i finally got it right once now now i must just did the the what what this is a putting and then i'm gonna iron it down i used um 
holding gel because I don't I don't trust anything else. <laughs> holding gel usually works for me. So I'm gonna hot comb it now. There's the hot comb. Mm. It's supposed to do the things. Apparently if you line your supposed to bend this thing to keep the putty. Because I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? But why didn't nobody tell me this? I feel like I should have taken a quiz before buying this hair. <laughs> Let me undo the putting here because I kept it together so that it stays together because I I was struggling to each time I have to come back here and forcefully try and find the putting. I, I was tired. I was tired me. So I made my life easy. So, I was in a research meeting with my team and as you can see, I obviously got dressed, I did my hair, finished it and this is just the top that I have on, then I have like some white pants that I'm going to put on and I'm going to have pink shoes and then I'm going to have one of the bags that I got as a gift and stuff inside is already chunked in there but yeah, I'm going to carry this bag and then I have a coat inside for later yeah, let's go. Let's go celebrate my birthday. Uh oh. Oh, I think I should take my prayer journal. Do I have to take it? Nah, no, it's fine. I am that person in the Uber driver's car that will always talk to the Uber driver. Like, yo, I talk a lot. And this driver was also asking me a lot of questions. It's interesting because I actually, the, this day was the first day I never wanted, I didn't want to speak much. I didn't ask for anything. But then I managed to get myself to a Megan Bean for my solo date, got some coffee. And then I was writing down 21 things that I've learned from 21 years of living and I basically recorded the video a bit later uh, when I came back to my room because I still look pretty and then I ordered a bagel I forgot like what specifications were on it but all I know is it had the best scrambled eggs I've ever tasted they were melting in my mouth it was just beautiful so I just did the 21 day and I think I also wrote like a couple of things I'm grateful for things I'm believing for in my you know in my new year and all of that and then I am later going to take out my bible and then with that you know doing the things because your girl loves spending some quality time with god and i had airpods on so i had like worship playing in my ears and all of that and that really just allowed for the moment to remain the moment and as you can tell i took these excuse me i took these on my phone which is a very dead phone um that's why the quality is like very very poor but besides the point, it did get a little chilly and I forgot which scripture I was studying as well, but I was studying a scripture. But yeah, I then came back home and organized the flowers, put them together. Um, yeah, nothing hectic like the new flowers that I got, but for myself as well, because that, I think that's the first time I ever bought myself flowers. But yeah i think i'm just now dragging this because i'm too lazy to stop recording like from <laughs> i'm gonna stop it don't worry so the birthday girl just came back from her little salad with the jesus and I'm gonna make sure some flowers because why not? I'm gonna add them to my beautiful vase here. And then I got some cake free gifts from Mag and Bean because that's where I ate. I love their bagels. The bagels are so incredible. Got coffee. I have a meeting in the next 
10 15 minutes. I just need to prep for that meeting. Oh, anyways, what a day! Such an amazing day! So bright, God really loves the angel. As you can see, the balloons are still on the floor. I'll take some pictures for myself. Yo, bye bye.